All right, guys, as we are coming into the final quarter of the season, uh, I wanted to make a video about who I think will um, get relegated to the championship this season. And I think now it's safe to say that there is four main contenders for relegation this season. I think that up until a few weeks ago, there was probably seven, you could say. Um, but I think with Newcastle's run of like, I think they won like six on the bounce or something ridiculous. Brentford picking up a bit of form with Christian Eriksen, uh, like making a big impact on the team, uh, scoring a couple and also uh, like creating a lot of goals too. And also Leeds with uh, some of them best players coming back. They've picked up a few vital points as well. Um, they, they've pulled away a bit. So the, the four candidates uh, are Everton, Watford, Burnley and Norwich. Um, and that obviously there's three relegation places. So it's that they're all fighting for one place effectively. Um, so I, I think it's pretty safe to say Norwich are going to go down. Um, I, I just think they haven't picked up enough points. They had um, a spell like a couple of months ago where they won a couple of games. I can't remember who it was against. I think it was Everton and Watford. So two big uh, rivals at the moment. Um, it feels weird putting Everton in a group, of, like uh, labelling Everton as a rival of Watford and Norwich and Burnley. <laughs> Uh, but that is what they've become this season. Um, yeah, but, but since then it's it's just not not been uh, what what Norwich fans might have hoped for. Uh, it's been quite disappointing, considering they did win those two games. Uh, so I think that they'll go down. They're, they're a yo-yo club. I think they have also got a squad that is well built for the championship. So it really wouldn't surprise me if they uh, come up again next season and. Or, or like you know, only narrowly miss out if if, if they keep their best players. <laughs> their best players. Obviously, they are going to lose a couple of players like Brandon Williams and Billy Gilmore, uh, because they're only lone players. So that that will be a bit of a miss to them next season. But it wouldn't surprise me if they come back up. But I think they'll definitely probably finish last this season. Then I also think Watford are going to go down because they're doing better than a lot of people think they are. Um, in, in fact, I think they could quite easily catch up with Everton over the next few weeks if you look at the fixtures that Everton have got. And also, uh, like what Watford are only like a couple of points behind them now, I think. Um, so Watford it is doable. Uh, they could still get 17th place in the league and just about survived by the skin of their teeth. However, the, the, I just don't think they've got the quality in defence. They, they made a few decent January signings in uh, players like Hassan Kamara, who on the few occasions I've watched him, I've been quite impressed with. Um, but I just still don't think it'll be enough unless they can just get their front three uh, or four players on... Um, really good form like Emmanuel Dennis, Xiao Pedro, Cucho Hernandez more recently as well. And then behind that you've also got Ismail Assar, probably their best player last season in the championship, uh, who is only just coming back from injury and has missed most of the season through injury. So that's been a big miss for them as well also. Um, and also Josh King is another option. So they, they've got a few good forward players and a couple of decent midfielders in Sissoko and... Um, Imran Luzer, whenever I've seen him play, he, he hasn't looked too bad. Uh, but I still don't think it'll be enough. Um, I think the cycling GK will be uh, back in the championship next season, unfortunately. Um, and then, obviously, the final relegation spot, 18th in the league, is probably going to be between Everton and Burnley. And the, the last night's game is part of the reason I've made this video, because... Um, Burnley winning last night was absolutely massive um, and it's the first time they've scored in a while which I mean does say something about Everton's defence again it's not been good recently Everton's defence um, and Ever Everton just with the amount of uh, tricky fixtures they've got coming up uh, Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea 
Arsenal on the final day of the season, that's going to be a tricky game, especially with it now looking like um, the race for top four between Arsenal, Tottenham and potentially West Ham and Man United. Uh, that that looks like it's going to be a close battle. Um, that that could be, you know, a game that Arsenal need to win as well as Everton. So you don't want to uh, have it hinge on that on the final day of the season. And Burnley, they've still got a few tough games to play, um, but it is considerably e and e it is a considerably easier running uh, for them than it is for Everton. However, they do still have the points to pick up as they are still behind Everton. Um, so yeah, they, they it's not far, it's far from job done um, for for Burnley. So they they need to still uh, try and. Uh, use the positive momentum they got from last night's game and uh, get more points, basically. Um, but I, if I'm predicting, I, I think if you look at the managers, Frank Lampard has never been in this situation in his career before. I, I don't think Frank Lampard's a, a bad manager. There's a lot of people saying he is who definitely weren't saying that a few, uh, two years ago when he managed to get to a... Well, how do I put it? Probably the most, no, the, probably the least star-studded Chelsea side we've seen in years to finish in the top four. Obviously, it all went wrong for him when Roman Abramovich did back him in the summer. He did get Champions League football and he failed to really produce. And Thomas Tuchel obviously came in and saved their season by winning the Champions League. But he's never been in this situation before. Whereas Sean Dyche has been in it many times um, and ha has actually, you know, um, been unable to avoid the drop on one occasion in 2015. But since then, I mean, he's just been phenomenal at uh, keeping Burnley in, in the division on such a tight budget and um, managing to get the best out of uh, his players and. Um, you know, just somehow managing to uh, get points where you wouldn't expect them to. Uh, so, my money's on Burnley to stay up now. I, th I think Everton it is looking bad for them because I think they will go down. And, you know, you, you can't automatically assume with Everton that they are going to come back up because they've got a lot of players who you think, OK, they're, they're definitely, you know, in theory too good for the championship and they wouldn't want to be playing championship football next season for Everton like maybe Abdoulaye Decore, um Dominic Calvert-Lewin potentially um, Jordan Pickford obviously with the World Cup coming up in uh, November and December he's not going to be wanting to be in the championship at the start of next season and there's also a few others as well, Richarlison, you could argue, and who else? Probably Damari Gray with his form this season and Anthony Gordon, although, you know, being a local lad, he, he might be willing to stick it out for a season. Um, but there's no guarantee they could come back up um, because you look at what's happened to Leeds 16 years ago. Um, other teams it didn't happen straight away for like Aston Villa they had to spend uh, I think it was three seasons in the championship before they came back up uh, so you know this will be tough for Everton I think uh, but that's my thoughts on the relegation battle thanks for watching and I'll see you next time